I was recently watching this video by DistroTube, and you can probably guess what this video is about just by looking at the title and the thumbnail. It's another one of these old people rants about the internet, and how back in the day the internet was so much better because it wasn't controlled by just a few giant corporations like Twitter and Facebook and Google. And back in the day you actually had individual websites that you can go to that people just set up as a hobby and you could go explore everybody's individual blog and everything like that. And it's a good video, I'll leave a link to it in the description if you wanna check it out. But you've probably seen videos like this, you've probably seen videos of the same genre. People that are just nostalgic for the old internet, just wishing that we could turn back time and go back to the good old days. But there has been kind of a resurgence in small websites recently. And if you look on some YouTube channels, they'll have guides on how to start your own website and why you should start your own website because you can finally have a place that you can call home and you're not going to be censored by any big tech platforms. And I do agree, having your own website is a very good thing. But just off the top of your head, how many small websites like this can you name? Like, just try to name five small websites. Obviously, nothing run by a giant corporation or a company. Just a small website that's maybe somebody's passion project or hobby, some small blog that you enjoy reading, just put together by one person or a small handful of people. And if you're like me, I have a really hard time thinking of five websites that I actually visit semi-regularly. If you give me a little bit of time, I can think of five, but it does take me a while to think of. And that's because I just don't go to that many independent websites. And the thing is, I wish I knew more of them. Like, if you're watching this video, you probably have the same kind of feelings about Facebook, Twitter, YouTube. You don't like the giant centralized nature of these companies and you wish that everything could go back to the way it was before. But a lot of the reason why people use these giant services is just because they couldn't tell you any interesting small websites. And I was actually around for the good old days of the internet and I kind of contributed to it in a small way. So back in the day when I was just a teenager in mid 2000s, I had my own website. It was a fan page of my favorite Nintendo game series at the time, Kirby. And I had a little fan page that I just hosted on some free web host. It looked exactly how you would expect it to. The graphic design was terrible, but it did have a little bit of soul. And I remember back then, if you wanted to find some cool websites for your hobby or for some specific thing that you were interested in, what you would do is a lot of these websites had link pages. So something like this. This is a link page that I had on my website. And back in the day, all kinds of websites would have these. It would either be called a links page or a blog roll, and it would just link to a whole bunch of other websites that the person who writes this website finds interesting. And it was a great way that you could find other websites. So the way I promoted my website back then is I would go to a more popular website. And back then you could just email the owner of a website and say, hey, could you leave a link to my page? I'll link back to yours and they would add your page, you can add their page to your links page, and everybody's happy, everybody benefits. And back in the day, I would just spend all day surfing through these various websites. You can find so many cool things. They would have their own web forums and other various pages that you can go to with just the most obscure information that you've ever seen in your life. And I know I'm being a little bit hypocritical here because my website doesn't have that much content. Uh, I do wanna add more in the future. I'll probably have a blog here at some point in the future. But I wanted to kind of bring this links page back to life because even if you look at the websites of a lot of people who promote small independent websites like this, they're not going to have links to any other pages that are similar to theirs. Maybe you'll be lucky and you'll be reading a blog post and they'll leave a link somewhere buried deep within a blog post, but it's going to be very difficult to find any other websites in the same niche if you're interested, just because they don't have a page like this with a whole bunch of links on it. And so on this page I have put various blogs that I like to read. Some of them are similar to the content that I post in this channel, like this one is about free and open source software. Some of them are just about things that I find interesting, like this lifestyle blog, which is about not being a wasteful consumer and going into debt, buying a bunch of garbage that you don't need. And if you go on a website like this, you can actually just browse around it all day and find all kinds of interesting articles and thoughts. And it's really rare that you come across a website like this these days. So I wanted to make it a little bit easier for people to find something like this. There's some interesting websites on here. There's some YouTube channels worth watching because YouTube also has the same problem and that is controlled by the algorithm. So most of the time it's going to be very difficult to find some small channel with good content on it. So I think this is a good way to get some recommendations of some good 
websites and YouTube channels, and it's a way to get recommendations that isn't controlled by a giant algorithm. Because of course, if you don't have a page like this, it is very difficult to find these. Most of them are not going to come up in a search engine. Of course, if you're used to Google by now, you know that if you search for something, you're not going to find a small, interesting website like this. You're just going to find some giant corporate website that has played the search engine optimization game. And even if their content is really garbage, they know how to play the game and appeal to all of Google's algorithms to rank higher. So unless you're doing a very niche or technical search, it is very unlikely that you're going to come across a cool website like this. And that's another reason why I think that this is a great idea. And I know I'm not an influencer, I'm not going to start a revolution with this video, but if you have a Swamo website like this, I would encourage you to put a links page as well on your website and just link to some other blogs or websites that you find interesting. And you know what, I'm putting this out there. If you want me to link your website on this page as well, you can send me an email. Of course, make sure that it has some actually interesting content on it. One thing that I hate the most is when somebody has a website, but it's literally just a blank page with a few links to their GitHub and their Twitter with like one paragraph about themselves. It is literally the most useless website there is out there. So do try to have at least something on your website that's interesting. And how about this? You also have to put a links page on your website as well, linking some cool other pages. And if you email me your website and it looks interesting, I'll put it up here as well. But I think that this could be a good idea just to breathe some life back into the minimal web. Maybe you can spam your favorite creators that also have a website to have a links page like this as well. Because the biggest reason why people use these websites like Reddit is just because it's impossible to find these small websites. And if you do find a website like this, maybe it has like three blog posts and they're from 2018. It's obvious that no one actually takes care of the website anymore. So the more small websites linking to other small websites, I think the better the internet will be. So add a links page to your website if you think that this is a good idea. If you think it's a terrible idea, leave me a comment. And let's actually work to make the web a better place instead of just complaining about what it used to be. Oh, the good old days, if only we could go back. There is a time and a place for that, but I would much rather look forward and create something that actually worth visiting rather than just reminiscing about the past. That's it. Now go out and create something cool.